Arjava, Sanskrit, Arjava literally means sincerity, straightness and non-hypocrisy. It is one of the ten yamas in ancient Hindu and Jaina texts. Definition Arjava means straightness, sincerity and harmony in one's thought, words and actions towards oneself and towards others. Cain translates Arjava as straightforwardness. It is explained in ancient Indian texts as self-restraint from hypocrisy and the absence of hypocrisy. It is included as one of several ethical virtuous restraints in an individual's path to spirituality. The Maharashtrian poet Vamana in Avagita, at XVI.1, posits Arjava is a form of honesty and purity in a person, and an essential virtue so that one may treat everyone equally, whether that other is one's child, wife, relative, friend, a stranger, someone hostile, or oneself without any discrimination. The ethical concept of Arjava is synonymously referred to as Adamba, Adamba composite word from a plus Damba. Adamba also means non-deceitful, straightforwardness and sincerity. It is listed as a virtue in the Indian epics. <laughs> <laughs> Literature Arjava is one of the ten yamas listed by Sandilya Upanishad, as well as by Svatmarama. It is one of the virtuous restraints yamas taught in ancient Indian texts. The other nine yamas are ahimsa, ahimsa non-violence, satya, satya truthfulness, asteya, asteya not stealing, brahmacharya, brahmakaya celibacy and not cheating on one's spouse, kasama, kasama forgiveness, dirti, dirty fortitude, daya, daya compassion, matahara, matahara measured diet, and sauka, sauka purity, cleanliness. In some texts, such as by Adi Sankara, this virtue is called as bhavasamsudhi, and explained as purity of motive and freedom of mind from hypocrisy, both in one's social conduct, as well as within oneself where one's thoughts, words and actions resonate. It is considered as a virtue that empowers one to act and live without anxiety, anger, prejudice, inner conflict or confusion. It is also discussed in Bhagavad Gita in verse 17.16. The Mahabharata, in Book 12, Chapter 60, lists Adamba (non-hypocrisy) as a virtue along with Akrita (non-anger), Kshama (forgiveness), and others. In the same book, in Chapter 278, the epic explains how and why hypocrisy arises, suggesting that it is a derivative of the sin of covetousness, greed and attachment to superficial possessions. Patanjali's treatise on yoga lists only five yamas, which includes non-covetousness and non-possessiveness respectively, but does not include arjava. See also Ahimsa Satya Asteya Brahmacharya Kasama Dirti Daya Matahara Sauka Akrita Dana